So it's all out in the open now. Saray knows the truth about Rose, and Rose finally got what she wanted, her vengeance against the person that killed her father. So this was a very dark episode of Tales of Zestidia. Uh, just to see the way that final scene was done, I'm like, holy shit. Like, that, that, that scene, when she's charging this man, this man that did her wrong, fucked her over. She charges this man, you see the man, he's scared, and he turns around, and all of a sudden you see Rose pop up, slices him, go, cuts the black screen. You're like, yo, this woman just cut this man down. Like, that man is dead. Like, that man is super fucking dead. So, what does this mean overall? Well, this is going to complicate the relationship between Saray and Rose. Because, obviously, Saray, he's a shepherd. And as a shepherd, he has to get rid of malevolence. And when you think of malevolence and what it is, obviously, you could probably think of killing someone. And to want to get revenge could also mean it's a malevolent act. Now, on top of that, though, one thing that has been, you know, popping up in recent episodes isn't a malevolent thing to do to kill someone that is for the greater good. For instance, someone that is causing a lot of harm to others is it a necessary evil. For instance, doing something like that to kill this man is it something that needed to be done. And this is something that's probably going to complicate what Saray has been thinking in the recent episodes. He's going to have to look at, you know, Rose and think like, is she, you know, someone that is malevolent? It, it, did she do the right thing? Was it pure evil what she did? And it really goes down to deeper morals and how you can view things like this. I mean, some people, you know, commit atrocious things for the greater good or a necessary evil, and it makes you wonder, is that something that is actually right or wrong? And at the end of the day, maybe we'll never come to the conclusion. I mean, everybody has different points of view on that. And Srey, as a character, since he is a shepherd and he shoulders so much, he has to figure out what malevolence means to him. And I feel like this is going to be that huge stepping stone for him to figure out what malevolence means and how malevolence is like how far you can go with it for instance if someone has to commit a necessary evil is that completely malevolent and this is like i said something he will have to overcome now especially with rose just shoving it in his face like that so, besides that, however, the episode of Tales of Zestirio, it kind of dives more into Rose's backstory and kind of what happened to her, why she lives the life she does, why she lives this, you know, darker path compared to how she seems to be happy when she's not doing this type of job. And the path she lives and the reason why she lives like this is thanks to her upbringing. She was a part of a group, a guild, which, you know, she traveled around with, which we already kind of knew about. However, her father, Brad eventually died to protect her and the entirety of her you know team the guild that they were a part of was betrayed by this prince this prince fucked him over and completely just destroyed you know this man that she you know fought was her father like my, her father got destroyed all these ideals he thought he could accomplish you know you know get at before his life ended was completely fucked over and she realized like how this man just completely used them all how you know he's like oh i'm gonna marry you rose and all that because to seal the deal but at the end of the day he didn't actually do it and he fucked them all over and so over all of these many years one of the big things they've been wanting to do is to get the revenge against this man how this man just destroyed a lot of their lives and ruined also rose's childhood as well now before that even happened though we do know that rose was already learning how to kill before that even happened brad was already teaching her this and which goes once again into is it really malevolent to do something for you know, the greater good. For instance, is a necessary evil right or wrong? And we see Rose as a very young child because of her upbringing. She was killing people. She was killing people that were absolutely atrocious, probably evil people. But you gotta realize she was taught to do stuff like this. That was her upbringing. So is she necessarily evil because she was taught to do what she did? I mean, it's kind of like this, okay? You're a child and you're taught to kill people, okay? Obviously, from our moral standpoint, that's fucked up. Like, you shouldn't kill people. And you shouldn't kill people. That, and you shouldn't. That, that's completely fucked up. But if your upbringing is taught to kill people, the question stands is if you don't really know what right or wrong is, and you were told to do this, and then when you do kill someone, it's actually for the greater good, and you're actually saving lives and helping people, taking this one person's life... 
is it necessarily evil? And does the also, like, the major part of the blame fall upon Rose? I mean, some of it still is, because when you become of age, you're going to start realizing things of how, you know, killing someone's very taboo. But the main question stands is, is that because of her upbringing, because of the way that she lived her life as a kid, and how she felt out maybe sometimes it's actually a good thing to take the path of a necessary evil, it makes you wonder, can Rose completely be at fault for this? Was it thanks to Brad teaching her this? And also, is it something that Saray is going to have to accept? For instance, the upbringing of Rose, but also the way she operates. For instance, how she deals with things for the greater good. So, yeah. It's a very interesting discussion that this episode can really bring. I can see many really discussing, like, the moral standpoint of what this can mean for Saray and Rose's character, and I'm curious to see what direction it's going to go, how this is going to complicate these two characters' relationship because of what Rose did in this episode, even if Rose didn't kill the man. Okay, let's just do a hypothetical. Let's say Rose didn't kill the man at the end of the episode. That black screen we got was actually, you know, something that stopped, you know, Rose from killing this man. You know, he got saved. And even though this man is a despicable bastard, he's completely evil, it doesn't stop the fact that what Rose has already done has been done. She has already killed people. We've already seen that she has killed people. This is something that she's already committed multiple times. She has murdered people. She has assassinated a bunch of people throughout her lifetime, even in her childhood. And so, even if she doesn't kill this man, it doesn't erase what she has already done. So, the main question stands is how is Saray going to tackle this? How do you deal with someone that is like this, knowing this other side? Because Saray knows the kinder, soft side to Rose. He knows how she's a caring person, how she loves people. We have seen this through the way she acts with the people around her. And so he knows how she is, but how is he going to feel about knowing this darker side to her? What is going to be his point of view on this topic? So yeah, I can't wait for next week's episode of Tales of Zestidia. I mean, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, how do you feel about this episode? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Please be honest in the comments below. And I love you all so much. You have a very, very wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.